guys summer is right around the corner so i thought we could do something fun today i'm gonna be doing a summery eyeshadow look using all drugstore products covergirl was kind enough to send me a bunch of products so let's try okay this and this is kind of the inspo i'm gonna start by using one of their clean eye color eyeshadow palettes okay i'm gonna start with this color and i'm just gonna lightly apply it on as a little base this is just one coat of the shadow. It is so soft and it just goes on so effortlessly and it's really easy to blend out as well. Now I'm going in with one of their clean eye color sticks. It has a nice brown tip for application. This is going to add some shimmer to my lids. And then I'm just going to blend it with my fingers. Pigment looks great as well. I'm going back to this palette and I'm adding a bit more of this shimmer. This pigment is beautiful. Now I'm using the shadow stick again in white so we can do the inner corners. This applicator makes it so easy to get into the small little spaces. Now I'm going with the Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil. We're going to use this to create a bit of a wing. Okay, it's very smooth. It like doesn't skip or drag on my skin. Okay, that's my attempt on my wing. On the back of this pencil, there's a smudger where you can just blend it in nicely. Okay, to complete the look, I'm going with their Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This mascara takes me back to the 8th grade. This mascara gives you up to 6 times the volume. Finally, I'm topping it off with their gloss. And that's it. Bye, guys! I think this is the biggest and tallest one yet. These are like the fattest boxes that I've ever received. Let's do our weekly PR unboxing. All right, we're just going to set this thing right next to us and just go box by box. Okay, first package is from Aveen. I think that's how you say it. Okay, packaging. So cute. It says facial mist. So cute. Okay, so it looks like they sent three facial mists. Protect facial mist. This is calm facial mist. And this is glow facial mist. Too faced oh my gosh first up they sent me their lip injection their lip injection their mascara face primer their mascara eyeliner eyeshadow palette i almost screamed when i saw this package this is definitely one of my top brands to use for when i do my curly hair routine okay so first they sent me some hair protector or perfector hair spray hair mousse this will be good for my curly hair routine Dry shampoo, fruit powder, wax stick. This is gonna be good for slick back. Next is from Province. So first they sent me five shades of their lip oil. I don't know if this is all of their shades. And then let's see what we have in this box. First they have a night moisturizer, a facial serum, daily facial serum, a plumping lip mask, a clay mask, daily moisturizer, a facial oil, another facial serum, a daily cleanser. Not sure who this is from. <gasps> MCO Beauty, I love them. I think MCO Beauty has been in every single one of my PR unboxing. They are amazing. I love them. Okay, so first we have a brow laminate. have their bronzy drops, our highlight plus glow wand, a lip oil, flawless glow, mascara. Okay, we have another mystery package. I'm so confused. Wait, is it a cup? A cup guys i finally have myself like a stanley cup now yeah fun fact i don't own a stanley this big old package is from ogi or og however you pronounce it but they have filled this package to the brim first up we have a clay mask an exfoliating cleanser this packaging is so cute they sent me four lip oil tanks they sent me their crystal contour collection with a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. They sent me their Discovery set. And more super cute packaging. Okay, so in this one we have primer, hydrating serum, cleansing oil, eye balm, renewal cream. Okay, and in this last package from them, I'm not going to go through this, but it's a bunch of minis. Okay, last package. Guys, look at this. <laughs> I flipped it up upside down so I could get it out and a bunch of packing peanuts fell everywhere. This is going to be a mess. Okay. Anyways, let's open up this bunny. Okay. So this looks like a Korean skincare brand. So they sent me rice milk, a little spatula, brown rice and honey mask. Haha, <laughs> there's more. Best thing 
<laughs> you guys know how much I love myself a robe. Are you serious? This thing is like a whole towel. This is so thick. <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh. And look at, we even got a little bunny. What does it say? Boy. But that wraps it up for our PR unboxing. Guys, let's just do a little aftermath. The packing peanuts everywhere. <laughs> but it's okay, it was worth it. Bye guys, I love you. Guys, get ready with me. Excuse the clips, they're not permanent. They are temporary. But anyways, hey guys, get ready with me to go to Sephora. Basically, I'm going to Sephora today because me and Jack went to go to Sephora the other day and we got there about 20 minutes before it closed. And obviously, the new Sephora that's opening shop centers is just like bare queues to get in because so many people want to go. And obviously, we got there 20 minutes before it closed because we thought, alright, oh, we're busy, like... It's like 9 o'clock at night. No one's going there. I get there. There's no queue, no nothing. We tried to get in and the security guy's like, no, you cannot come in. Like, bro, we've literally got 20 minutes left. What do you mean we can't come in? And then he was just like, I've been told not to let anyone in. Da, 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 da. I was just like, I need, I know what I'm going in for. Like, I just want this one thing. At least take me 20 seconds. And then he started being rude. So anyways, we left and we went to Selfridge to see if I could get what I wanted in Selfridges. They didn't have it. They literally only have it either online or Sephora. So anyways, that made me really sad because we literally went just specifically goes for it so yeah i want to go today so i can get the i want the beauty truly beauty whipped body butter that's all i wanted man so yeah when we go to get today i will vlog it today i wake up so early i'm like i wake up at seven person on weekends every day seven o'clock tell me why today i wake up at like quarter to twelve quarter to eleven like that is a joke so anyways i am meeting jack and then we're going to Sephora. But guys, you know what's really exciting? I've got my driving test in literally 15 flipping days. Basically, I got it in two weeks. Ah! I'm so excited. But my driving just on holiday this week, so I have no lessons with him. So I'm just gonna have to bash out driving in my mum's car. And I'm actually a professional driver. I'm so good at driving. I'm literally gonna pass. Like, basically, what I'm saying is, in 15 days, I will have my car and I can drive because there's no failing. I will pass because I'm a great driver and I'm amazing. If I don't, I will let you cry, but it's fine because I'm not gonna. I am gonna get it. You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm trying to buy my car now, but my mum won't let me because she said that if I don't pass, then it's not sitting like outside the house and stuff. And it's just really sad because I just need it now. I need it now. I need it now so I can start decorating the inside. I can get my private reg plate. Like, I just. <sighs> my dad's got me. Actually, don't look at my room, it's a mess. But my dad's got me this like massive speaker to put in the car, and it's gonna go. And I just. I just need it. I just need the car now so I can decorate it and do everything that I want to it. Do you know what I mean? And so that as soon as I've like done my test. And I've passed it, I can just hop in the car and go, do you know what I mean? So she said to me that as soon as I pass, then we can go get it. So I'm expecting, mum, if you're watching this, I am expecting to come back home and we get straight into your car or however we're getting to this car and we get it that day because I need it now. So let's be serious now. You cannot let me get on a bus when I have got my license. Like, that isn't allowed. Those days are done. You cannot let that happen to me, please. Like, I need to buy the air fresheners for it. I need to put blankets in the car. Like, I <laughs> just need it now. Like, right now. I need to make the snack drawer. I need to, like, I just need it. Do you know how long it takes me to get to the traffic centre on public transport? It takes like an hour and a half. In the car, it takes 15 minutes. <sighs> you don't understand. I bought so many pairs of trainers dedicated to this car. Like, I refuse to wear them unless I'm driving with them on. Because... <sighs> Please. I think this get ready with me just turned into a video of why Neve needs a car ASAP. And I think all the reasons are pretty valid. So yeah, Neve needs a car now. But also guys, guess what I have ordered? So if you know me, you know I'm a backpack babe. I'm not a handbag babe. Backpacks for life. Basically me and Jack went in Foot Locker and I seen this like Jordan backpack and it was so fire. Check the price tag, 100 flipping pounds. Wanted to cry because I had just bought a pair of 100 pound trainers. I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, there was 100 pounds. Got home. I took a picture of them when I was in the shop and I seen them and I was just like, I need them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to order. And if I order them, I get 10% off. Went on the line. Went online. They've gone down to 80 pounds. And then I got 10% off. So it was like, what did I pay? 72 quid? Not too bad. So yeah, that should be coming. But it's like bank holiday. So I don't know if that like delays it by a day. So maybe it'll be coming tomorrow. Let me show you the shoes I got. Basically, I bought these literally the other day. They're Jordan Falls and they are pink. Well, they're not pink, they're purple. And this isn't white, guys. This is like pearl. I don't want to touch them though in case I've got any like makeup on my hands. 
But yeah, this is them. Also, don't ask me why they're in a box that Jordan 1's come in. I don't have a clue. But on the side, it does say <coughs> Jordan 4's on. So I don't understand. But yeah, I got them the other day when me and Jack went to Manchester Arndale. Um, I got them from Jud. JD. Guys, look at this mascara that I got. This is the Ilia. I got it from the Sephora and it's actually so flipping good. I've done my makeup because I'm doing like a little light, some light makeup. Just put my hair in a little slip back bun, but I'm ready now. Um, so it's Sephora, but now I'm thinking about it. I don't really want to go, but we'll just, we'll just see. Love you guys. Mwah. It's finally half term and I'm literally the happiest person ever right now. Anyway, get ready me for the day. And also I've tidied my whole room. And it's so tidy now and I just love it. Today I'm going out with my dad. Today I'm going out with my dad and my sister to the park just because I'm not doing anything really. Um so yeah, we're going to the park to go on the swings and just so I can see my dad and my sister. I was kind of sad when I woke up because I had a dream that I met Olivia Rodrigo. And obviously I haven't. So now I'm a bit depressed about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair today just because it's just a bit straight and it's just... I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. So I love this song. I'm currently in a period of re-watching every High School Musical film over and over again because um, I've just finished High School Musical, the musical series, um, mainly because Olivia was in it, but <laughs> I'm actually going to be vlogging this half term because I think you guys want me to do another YouTube video and I don't know what to do and I was on live and someone said I should do a... Um, Oh, I should do like a day in the life and then I was thinking well it's half term why don't I just do a week in the life so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm just using I use three different concealers I know that's a bit odd but I use the L concealer and I use the dual one and the closest one because I just love them all so I mix them all together also I'm literally crying because my Charlotte Tilbury set spray is running out and it's literally like the best thing I've ever purchased and it's so expensive so I might have to break the bank and get another one you betrayed me the fact I heard this live was literally all I needed in life like it was just so amazing and it was so worth every penny I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury contour I need to learn how to do contour because I just can't do it. Like, what is that? Someone genuinely needs to send me some help. People tell me do it in the same spot, but then it just goes into a big splodge on one side of my face. So I just cut myself off, but I have to like blend it out. Look, I've just blended that out in the same exact place, right? And not dragged it down. But then it's just a big splodge. Okay guys, there we go. I'm just gonna put some blusher on. I have not called it blusher in a long time, but I feel like all like oldish people call it blusher. I don't know. Like all of my generation call it blush. What am I actually waffling about? I actually love the rare beauty blush. It's so pretty. But I'm gonna go over it with my palette one as well, just because I want it a little bit more pigmented. I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um under my eyes and just everywhere really <laughs> guys i'm gonna take some bronzer as well because i haven't got enough bronze on my face i'm just gonna take quite a fluffy brush and, my bronzer and then just go over my contour i'm just doing some highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and on my nose because i feel like it's just so aesthetic I'm just going to use this brow gel on my brows because since I've like dyed them, I actually have to like brush them up now. Whereas before when I just had blonde eyebrows, I could just leave them and you wouldn't even know this. Right, I'm just going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. Right, I've done my mascara. I feel like my mascara literally changes like everything. 
I don't know, but <coughs> um, I'm just gonna put some lip liner on and some lip gloss, and I'll be RB. Right, I've changed my mind. I'm not putting lip gloss on. I'm just leaving this on. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go straight in my hair. I don't know yet, but I love you guys. Mwah. Get ready with me, but we can't be friends if you do any of these things. If you make your whole personality crap talking, then we can't be friends. If you body shame or make fun of anybody's physical appearance, we can't be friends. If you're rude or try to crap talk any of my younger siblings, we can't be friends. Okay, off topic, but this stuff smells really gross. I might need to get a new one. If you've made fun of your best friend in front of guys to make yourself look better, we can't be friends. If you mess with quiet or disabled kids, we can't be friends. Okay, for lashes today, I'm just gonna curl them because I already have residue mascara on. If you make fun of anyone's home life, whether their house is messy or small, we can't be friends. If you send ugly photos of me to guys, we can't be friends. Unless it's your boyfriend. If we're hanging out and you're on your phone the whole time, we can't be friends. And I mean, sometimes it's fine if we're super close, but if we're just starting to hang out and that's all you wanna do. Okay, this one's more of a joke, but don't take this too seriously. But if we're at a pool and you'd rather tan than play mermaids, we can't be friends. If you borrow something of mine and I keep asking for it back and you don't give it back, we can't be friends. If I always have to text first to keep our friendship, then we can't be friends. All right, guys, I don't think I can think of any more. But thanks for watching today's video. Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, first of all, look at how cute this set is. It's currently 3 p.m. and I'm just now getting ready. You guys know my school just ended like a week ago. Past couple of days, I've just been spending at the pool. Every single day, I was out tanning. And now that I'm tan, I'm literally so happy. And guess where I'm going right now? We're going to the pool again. Some of our family friends are coming over and they have middle school kids. So we're all going to the pool together. So now let me show you guys my summer makeup look. But first of all, you obviously need some sunscreen. I have so much to talk to you guys about. I know it's the summer, but I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning literally to study for the SAT. Like, I could talk about this topic forever. School system, like the pressure of it. Why are you making a teenager stress about their whole entire future and their lives? Just took the Say Sun Glow to give myself a little more bronze. Anyways, you guys probably already saw, but I got my nails done the other day. I'm literally obsessed. My sister's friend did them. I'm actually obsessed. But I got these nails because we're going to Cali in like a week. But I wanted something more tropical, a little bit more colorful. That was the Say Slip Tint. And this also has SPF in it, which I need. Ugh. Before we do the rest of our makeup, I usually open my PR packages whenever I do my unboxing video. But Sol de Janeiro sent me a package. So I obviously have to open it right now. Are you actually kidding me? Sent me these four scents. I think I want to use this one today. They also sent me their SPF body lotion. And the Bum Bum Boom Boom Cream goes along with the scents. It's really so good. I always aim to do natural makeup, but I always get carried away and end up doing a full face. So let's try and do as little as possible. I'm debating on if I should start packing for Cali. I'm leaving in eight days, I think. When do you guys start packing whenever you're leaving for a trip? Because I usually pack like the day before or the morning of. That was the new Say Do Bron. Let me know if I should just do like a full face of Say one day. I'm taking the Merit Blush. I actually love this so much. I'm so excited to pick out my outfits for California. I don't know if I should shop for outfits before california or whenever i'm there because i know i'm gonna be shopping so much i also just ordered the lash bond and seal thing for clusters so that i can do my lashes for my trip because no matter how much waterproof mascara i put on my lashes they always fall down in the water oh my gosh so my friend is in greece right now and she just sent me 64 photos so jealous i want to go to italy so bad i think i might just put my hair in braids you guys asked me how i did my hair yesterday in my outfit video sometimes i'll do an overnight method but yesterday i used a crimper i think this is actually the fastest get ready with me ever i got ready in like 15 minutes my makeup turned out so glowy yeah i look crazy right now but my sister wants to try this one smells good anyways we also deep cleaned our whole entire house my parents are so specific of how clean our house should be when guests come over they think the guests are gonna check for dust 
Okay, but anyways, I think my braid is done. I also cleaned my whole entire room, but now it's time to pick out an outfit, so that is going to change. Okay, so I'm thinking these shorts, but I'm not really sure because, because the people that are coming over, he's a pastor. I have to be mindful of what I wear. Okay, so I always have two options. Just because school ended does not mean I'm not letting Alexa choose my outfit. The first option is this, like, oversized shirt, and the second option is this baby tee. Alexa, choose a number between one and two. It's one. Here is the outfit. So this is brand new. I feel like I never wear t-shirts on here but one more spray of this let me know if you guys want more of these type of get ready with me or something more similar to my school get ready with me but have an amazing day bye love you guys Hey, good morning you guys my study abroad is officially over so let's get ready for a solo day in madrid today is also a very special day because i finally get to see my family they fly into madrid around like 3 40 today and i have no words i am so excited to see them i wait to just give them all a big hug and hang out with them for the next week so the plan is we're going to be here in Madrid for two days and I want to go to Segovia with them tomorrow because I just loved it so much. And then we're going to fly to Mallorca. Looking at so many photos of Mallorca, it is seriously stunning. I just love the beach. Like the beach is my happy place. I know I've already said this, but I'll probably get questions. So the people coming are my parents and my little sister. Zach can't come because he has so much school to do right now. He's taking like a thousand summer school classes. I have like the best time with my parents and my little sister. They're just all my best friends. I'm go with this real quick. Okay. So yesterday was when drop my phone round two please stay it's as i was saying yesterday was the day everyone flew home um from the study abroad so i had yesterday all to myself and i literally just chilled i did get some snacks i went to the grocery store but i just like relaxed i was so exhausted from this trip we needed some sleep i have some free time till my family gets here so i'm thinking of going back to the prado museum i think this is too red to be covered <laughs> he is angry at me I also need to tell you guys about the grave error I made when booking hotels for me and my family. I made a bit of a whoopsie. So somehow when I was booking the hotels, I booked two rooms, but single rooms, not double. And I have no idea how I messed that up. Like, I am such a thorough person. I went to book breakfast for me and my family, and they were like, four people? We only have, like, two people. Like, no. No, 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 there's no way. I did not mess this up. I was like, dang it. Unfortunately for me, since there's a Taylor Swift concert here, every hotel is like booked up. Like here, the hotel I'm staying at had no extra rooms available. So they gave me a list of hotels to go check out and I literally on foot just walked around and asked them if they had any availability. I finally found one that's like super close, just like up the street in Kevin's. They had like one room left. All I can think about is how excited I am just to see my family's faces. So I keep going back and forth in my mind whether or not I want to take next week off with my family. And it is such an internal battle. I do not know what to do. And it's completely fine to take breaks. But I just took a break last week when I got like ill. My inner demons are telling me, no, you cannot take a break. I have a TikTok where it's like, I don't want chocolate. I don't want to eat the chocolate. But the demon's inside of me. Yeah, that's what's coming to mind right now. These bad boys are laminated. <laughs> About 20 minutes and I have to check out of this hotel and go and check into the other hotel. I cannot help but get mascara all over my eyelids every time I do it. Quite unfortunate. Hey guys, we're already for the day. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, quick get ready of me before Tegan comes around. So I've done a really cute hairstyle, yeah? And this is a bun at the back. I'll show you it properly at the end, but the only problem is, is that it's not a straight line at the back. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get my mum to fix it for me. Ow. My mascara was going so good and then I literally poked myself in the eye. Okay guys, the mascara is done. Now I'm gonna move on to brows. Don't know about anyone else that has hay fever or not, but I was like literally fine, like from Easter break till this break now, I was like literally fine, like my hay fever was being so nice, to then all of a sudden I woke up this morning, my eyes were literally red, like bright red, puffy, and they were so itchy, my nose was all blocked as well, like I was not looking good, I need to get new eye drops though, because mine are out of date now, and I'm, I'm terrible with putting things in my eye though, like I actually can't do it, but I'm fine now, anyways, I'm carving out my brows, I think Tegan might be here soon though, so I've actually got to speed this up. Okay, eyelashes and brows are done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of skin prep. I'm going to use this Bioma Hydrating Serum, my Nivea Moisturizer, and this Power Grip Primer. This hydrating serum has like proper run out now. I'm literally trying to get the last little bits out of it. Anyways guys, can I just say how look pretty this jewelry is that I got sent from every jewel. They sent me this bracelet. And then this cross me necklace, it's literally so pretty. Personally, I always thought that I was a silver girly. I mean, I've got silver earrings in right now, but that's because I got them done recently. Actually, no, I can change my earrings now. If anyone has any gold earring recommendations, then let me know. But seeing, since seeing their jewellery, I think I'm switching to being a gold girl now. They've also given me a discount code, which I'll put on the screen now. 
for you guys to get 10% off when you order. So if you go look at their website and you like the idea of some of their products and you want to buy some, then make sure to use my discount code to get 10% off. Guys, I actually think I really need to hurry up now though because that was a lot. Because I swear Tegan's literally going to be here in like two minutes. Oh, <gasps> she's typing. Right, right guys, I've literally got five minutes. Okay, I've just put on this Revolution foundation and I'm now using Primark Clinton Drops. She just sent me a photo where she is. That is not five minutes away. That's like two minutes away. Guys, I think I'm going to have to finish off my makeup when she gets here. But I'm going to quickly try and do some cream bronzer. I'm in such a good mood though because I've got like... My hair is actually going like really good. Except for that little bit at the back, but that's fine. Um, and also, I'm having such good makeup day as well. Like, my skin literally feels like so smooth and it just looks like so nice. But that could change, so I'm not trying to jinx myself right now. Okay, I've just blended this all in and Tegan's here now. I'm gonna go get her from downstairs. Guys, Tegan's here now and I finished my makeup. I didn't film it though because we were having a little chat. But thanks for watching. Bye guys. This is my hair. Hey guys, get ready with me. So me just realising that I think I had my timer on for what, 60 seconds. I always have it on 10 minutes, but I just had to restart my whole get ready with me. So I just started using my Glorisby toner. Um, yeah. So guys, um, I'm going to this like garden centre kind of thing with them because like mine and the granddad mostly my granddad because I've got loads of flowers lovely flowers in the garden so like it's like yeah they just I'm just going to a garden centre with them I've got to do my mascara so I'm just gonna do it now and guys I stuck these nails in yesterday because I just felt no, I was just bored and I thought it was getting summer so I put these ones on and then it ain't really sunny. I'm going to use my two favourites, Charlotte Tilbury and my Bag O' Bang. Okay, so I'm going to use my Drunk Elephant and then my Bunsen Drops. I've got you up on the mirror right now, so you might be tipping a bit. So, yeah, but just mixed that in and now just putting it on my face. The phone rings, and I'm looking like my father else. What you gonna do with your life? I'm gonna put on my Primark primer. Only like underish the eyes because I ain't putting no nothing anywhere else. I don't know why I put that under my uh, no on my head. Oh, let that dry. Sit. I'm gonna do my brows now. Just gonna sort them out a bit because they're looking a bit funky. Now I'm going to use my Rare Beauty under eye right now. Uh, where else should I put it? Okay, so I've just done that. And the problem, because uh, I don't have a powder, I've got my sister's one. And this is the best powder ever, Essence. I need to actually get my own because it's just not the best. But I'm just going like, to put this under my eyes. That's the end. Bye. Get ready with me for bed. So today I literally went for breakfast with Joe and I just chilled. But it's been a good bank holiday weekend. I went to the races. We met up with our mates last night. Also, you can see my dirty washing in the back, but 
I'm putting it in the wash. I just ignore it. And we've actually booked to go to the races again, but with our friends this time. We did actually go with my family before and it was really good. And I think this time I'm going to go for a long dress vibe. I went for like a little ballerina type of one and I looked like a princess. So I'm thinking long dress this time and then all my hair up, whereas it was a half up, half down vibe. Also, is it just me or did anyone feel like the weather just didn't show up for us this weekend? Like it's bank holiday weekend and you're telling me it's not 20 something degrees, honey. To be fair, it was sunny on the Saturday. It's just been like raining yesterday and then today the uk couldn't make its mind up like did it want to be sunny did it want to rain did it want to fucking snow it didn't, it didn't snow um that's just being dramatic but it's me can't we just have a bit of sunshine sometimes anyways enough for this weekend because i need to start prepping for the weekend that's coming up which is joe's brother's fight in london and i need to think of an outfit i need to think of my hair because my hairdresser page is booked up so she can't do my hair and i'm not going to anyone else like do you do you think i'm a joke i just thought about it today the thought of sitting in another hairdresser's this is a bit dramatic hairdresser's chair and having to speak to him knowing that i've had to ditch my hairdresser because my hairdresser's ditched me for her other clients i'm ready now i've actually lost my lash room again it's becoming like an annual thing i need to dig my room around to find it so i will apply lash room and then my nightly routine is done you're probably thinking why i should put lip gloss on but it's actually lip oil and i don't want my lips to stay hydrated you know I don't want them crusty dusty dry 